With a deadline just 10 days away, volunteers are attempting to collect thousands more signatures needed to trigger a recall election against St. Tammany Coroner Christopher Tate. Ashlyn Brothers has more from Covington. We knew it was going to be an uphill battle. I didn't think that we were going to be as far away as we are. The clock is ticking for those who want to see St. Tammany Coroner Dr. Christopher Tape ousted from office. We're throwing every Hail Mary that we can here. Organizers still need roughly 14,000 signatures to trigger a recall election. They've sent out thousands of mailers and collected signatures at businesses, high school football games, and now the St. Tammany Parish Fair. Your first act in office is to cancel the SANE program. It's very concerning as, as a mother, as a woman. Court records show Tate faced child sexual assault charges in 2001 in New Mexico, but they were dismissed because prosecutors violated his right to a speedy trial. If they would have known this information before the election, maybe there would have been somebody that would have come forward and run and given us other options. In a new statement, Dr. Tate told Fox 8 he believes the people of St. Tammany will be pleased with his job performance as he cut costs, worked with the parish council, and continues serving families in the community. In the past, he's maintained his innocence. I understand the optics, but Again, what am I supposed to do with the rest of my life? The 37,000 signatures are due October 14th. While we know that the clock is running out on the recall, it's really just going to start the clock on the one term that he's going to have. In Covington, Ashland Brothers, Fox 8, Local First.